Well, art may be in the eye of the beholder, but when it comes to our next story, it's probably all in the snout. Because you see, in the nation of South Africa, they've discovered a true pig casso. With her paintbrush snugly in snout, <laughs> pig casso is making art and vying to become the Jackson Pollock of swine art. <laughs> now, I know some of you are probably saying, Sal, what about a painting pig? <laughs> well, skeptics, you consider this. Pig Casso was a mere piglet when rescued by her owner, who quickly noticed her love of color and paintbrushes. I mean, how swill is that, huh? <laughs> Joanne Lefson, who owns the farm sanctuary South Africa that saved the sow, said, pigs are very smart animals, and so when I brought Pig Casso here to the barn, I thought, how do I keep her entertained? So Lefson tried soccer and rugby balls, but no luck with that. Then she offered up paintbrushes and paint and the rest is postmodern art history. What I'm wondering is what, no invisible oink for writing? <laughs> it doesn't get better, okay? So you better like this. So soon, Pig Casa was dipping brushes in paint and creating her art. Now the paintings can sell for almost $4,000, which proves that she obviously understands the idea of bringing home the bacon. <laughs> The proceeds for the paintings go to animal welfare. So I guess that makes Pig Casso a philanthropig. <laughs> oh, and one of the Sal's paintings have been used on a swatch watch that costs $120. Well, Miss Lefson believes her Pig Casso is definitely an abstract expressionist and that the pig's paintings even change with her mood. Frankly, I'm just sal prized at the entire story. I really am. Okay, so we've all seen those viral Facebook posts where we're asked to help cheer up some poor suffering soul by sending them 10,000 birthday cards. Well, here's a not so sweet variation. Two Florida brothers, of course, Florida brothers, Chris and Mike Ferry like to play pranks on their dad for his birthday. So they put up a billboard near his New Jersey home with their father's actual phone number, <laughs> urging everyone to call and wish him a happy birthday. A photo of it went viral, and Chris Ferry Sr.'s phone has been ringing around the clock. He has received more than 15,000 calls and texts from all over the world. ABC's Live with Kelly and Ryan even tried to call, but they couldn't get through because the mailbox is full. <laughs> Their dad took the joke surprisingly well. Better than I would, I can tell you that. His sons say they're gonna have a hard time topping this on his next birthday. But if I could suggest a funny prank that dad might surprise his sons with for their next birthdays, how about changing the beneficiaries in your will? <laughs> now, Dateline, North Carolina. A thrift store in that state is warning consumers that their furniture may be haunted. The Habitat for Humanity Restore in Rowan County posted photos on Facebook showing a chest of drawers and a canopy bed that former owners declared haunted. The Facebook post explained, quote, previous owner reports the high boy is haunted. He and his wife experienced continuous nightmares while it was in their room and the dogs would not stop barking at it. I wonder if the post was written by a ghost writer. Store director Elizabeth Brady said that a lot of people are interested because it's haunted, supposedly, but Brady felt it was her duty to disclose the spookiness of the furniture. Hey, Keith, do you know why you should put depressed ghosts in an elevator? That's one of the few therapies I'm not familiar with, so no, Governor, I don't. Well, you put them in an elevator because it raises their spirits. Oh. You're right, it doesn't get any better. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, <laughs> all right, back to the story. Well, for you paranormalists who are ready to buy the chest in bed, it's too late. That's right, because the items were purchased this week by a couple for a thousand bucks. Do you think if their check bounces, they'll get repossessed? <laughs> and finally, a shout out to the Russians for sharing their men's face slapping competition with the world. Vasily Kamatsky delivered some brute force to his opponent's cheeks to win the championship, and he pocketed 30,000 rubles. Yikes. Our 460 bucks, U.S. American dollars. I guess there is no turning the other cheek with that guy. 
Well, like a watchmaker that's just been robbed, we've run out of time. But never forget, we read the news, 